SQL Server gives us the ability to review the performance of specific queries that it executes. And we'll do this in order to look at ways that we can fine tune performance and maybe get our queries running a little bit more efficiently. Now let me show you how this works. I've written a handful of queries that we can use just as demos here. So I'm going to open up and I just put them on my desktop. And let's start with the easy one here, the employee list. Now I'm not going to worry too much about the, um, the query itself. We'll just go over it real quick. We're using the AdventureWorks database and we're selecting the first name and the last name columns from the human resources v employee. It's actually a view, not a table. Um, but if I execute it, <coughs> excuse me, if I execute it, you'll see it pulls the first name and last name of all of our employees. And you'll see we had 290 rows. Okay. Now, that's my execution of it. If I want to analyze this, I can go to query and right here is the display estimated execution plan. Now, the query runs according to an execution plan. And what this does is it will look at the query and design an execution plan for how it thinks it's, uh, the SQL engine thinks it's going to work. So let's display that execution plan and we'll see it here. And so right here you can see the actual text of our query. And this is the execution plan. Let's see if we can give ourselves a little more real estate here to play with. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and close my Object Explorer for the moment. So here is our estimated execution plan. We have a command that's going to use uh, the database, or tell it to use database, and then the select. And as we hover over each of these, you'll see it pops up and it tells us step by step what it anticipates happening. So this is the physical operation is a nested uh, loop. Logical operation is the left outer join, estimated execution, estimated operator cost, ex estimated CPU cost, estimated subtree cost, number of executions. You can see all of these are estimated. And one of the things I want you to see is in this column, and if my move, move my mouse is going to go away, but you see it says estimated operator cost and 0%. What that means is it's anticipating that this is going to take very, very little of the actual time required to execute the query. This one is going to take 14%, and you'll also see that down here, cost 14%, cost 0%, cost 0%. So using this, we can scroll through and look and see what's actually going to take the bulk of our time. And this is going to be a clustered index seek that is going to take the bulk of our time. Now this is our estimated execution plan, not our actual estimated execution plan. And there is sometimes a difference. If I want to see the actual one, I'm going to go back to my query, and I'm going to say include actual execution plan, and then I'm going to run my query again. And now it shows me, before when I did that, it just gave me my results and my messages. Now it's going to show my execution plan again. This time it is the actual execution plan, not the estimated execution plan. So I can actually compare and contrast and see if they got it right. And you'll see some of these things we returned, a few more rows than we anticipated. So the, and I keep hovering over it trying to point it out and it pops that up. So it shows me the cost 0%, the time in seconds. We returned 290 rows of 276. In other words, we returned more than we estimated. We went over by 105%. Or went over to the tone of 105%, not by 105%. So we got 105% more than we anticipated. But you can see the comparison, and using this information, you can go through and try to fine-tune which part of my query is actually taking the most of the time. Now, we normally don't worry about this unless we have a query that is running particularly slow, and we're kind of concerned about it. In that case, and it seems to be slowing down the rest of our uh, operations. So in that case, we might want to run some of these execution plans, or run them with the execution plan, see what's taking most of the time, and see if there's a way we can smooth out that process. And that might be by creating a view, that might be by doing an index. There might be several different ways that we can smooth that out. But this gives us an idea or a way of uh, pinpointing where it is in our queries that's causing our system to slow down.